Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. The Earth Arches of Wisdom. So we have even right there. What's his name? This is an emergency transmission. This is an emergency transmission. From FEMA Region 6 in occupied North America. There is a war. It's happening now. It will decide the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. And folks, it is Sunday, June 1st, 2014. And I am just sitting here thinking about all this. And it just hit me. We really are broadcasting from Freeman Region 6. We really are in a 10-part global government with 10 subregions per, per region. It really is public. They really are putting cancer viruses and vaccines and brain-damaging hydrofluorosilicic acid in the water. I really own their books where they admit they're doing it on my bookshelf. I, I, it's a Twilight Zone episode. But in a way, it's exciting. It's real. It's animating. Let me tell you, I'm not worried about my hair sticking up in public anymore. I'm not worried about what people think about me. I care about this species. Not because I'm a hero, just because I'm not a piece of crap. I just want to have a better world. I like nice people, not scum, but nice people have been blinded. We've been brought up incrementally with the poison being titrated, built up, so we have an incredible tolerance to it, and they've used our own adaptability against us to put up with the abuse. And in the last four minutes, we've gotten this short segment with John Rappaport. John, you talk about breaking the trance. Because I don't want to just wake people up in a subtrance where they go, okay, it's happening and feel hopeless. We can change the world and make it better if we get, take the next step. How do we do that? How do we break out of the trance? You know, Alex, what I've always said is that people have to go back to the root. What is the root? Freedom. And then they have to understand what that means for them fully. You know, because... When people do understand that, they become motivated to take action. They don't just sit there and stare out the window. But the problem is, is a lot of people get kind of a half idea of what their own particular freedom means. They don't really learn about it. They don't contemplate it. Nobody teaches it to them. They have to do it themselves. Because everything that we're saying here comes back to that. They're trying to destroy freedom. That's their goal. Control means no freedom. You're a slave. Okay, so what is your freedom? What does that really mean? You know, oh, it's a word. It means I can, you know, I could shop here or I can go there or I can take a vacation. That has nothing to do with anything. The deeper an individual gets to understand the root of his own freedom, he not only understands how they are trying to take it away, but what power lies in that freedom that he has, the power to act, the power to do the right thing, the power not to be a schmuck. The power to have your own original thoughts and not take up the false freedom of exercising the fake freedoms they try to sell us to carry out. Like, oh, you're free if you do this or that. Well, yeah, if I want to, but it needs to originate from my spirit, from my core, not from their system. You bet. You bet. And that's why they're going after constitutionalists, because constitutionalists begin to understand that. Hey, my freedom really has nothing to do with the government at all, <laughs> you know, or the media or any official anybody. It has to do with me. My freedom is prior to any law, any rule, any wow. regulation. They any want you to go to them to have them certify your freedom when the Constitution, Bill of Rights, Declaration of Independence are beautiful because they say no. Your freedom already existed. We're just pointing some of it out here. We've got to say, I'm free. I don't care what the hell you say. Exactly. That's how it all starts. People have to separate that. They have to say, no, my freedom has nothing to do with anybody giving something to me. I mean, is that ridiculous? Does somebody give you 
You know, your hand? No, it's yours. Somebody giving you your freedom? Absolutely not. John, it's too powerful. I want to get you on for a full hour this week. Guys, let's set up John Rapport for the weekday show right now. Let's do a full hour on true freedom. I want you to write some notes up from that big brain of yours. Uh, really a great mind. And to come on and share it with us this week. In fact, I may even let him host a few hours, so I'm not interrupting. John Fantastic. Rapport, I'd love uh, to. you're awesome. You're beautiful, man. Hi, I'm Dr. Edward Grew. It took me 20 years of searching the globe to find the deposit of the highest purity iodine available. The new Survival Shield X2 is mined from 7 to 10,000 feet below the earth in pristine, environmentally clean conditions. The iodine crystals we use are extracted from an ancient 300 million plus year old deposit deep in the earth. It's the strongest nascent iodine on the market today. It delivers 650 micrograms per drop. Experience the new formula. Experience the ancient purity. Shield your family. Survival Shield X2. Available now at InfoWarsLife.com. X2 from InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. We now take you live to the Central Texas Command Center in the heart of the resistance. You're listening to The Alex Jones Show. You know, we've been running that liner for about 18 years on air, and folks used to think it was a joke, and it, it is kind of tongue-in-cheek. But now we we really are under this occupied government. Uh, the, the bureaucracy, the corporate interest, uh, they just do whatever they want. And it was in the Washington Times last week, I just talked about it with... with Gunners of America had Larry Pratt that, oh, the Pentagon is training to crush the Tea Party and gun owners and, and to use drones against them, and that is NORTHCOM's main mission. I mean, it's just, it's crazy that, you know, I'd talk about that five years ago with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. He'd bring it up, and we were like, oh, that's those nuts. And then now it's just all out in the open. We're moving into authoritarianism. The whole world is, in my view. And for two segments, because we've got four guests today on this Sunday edition, Dr. Paul Craig Roberts, the father of Reaganomics, multi-time best-selling author, uh, listed by many publications, one of the top ten living economists. So he's kind of a big deal, sits on a lot of the boards, some of the biggest think tanks. Uh, he has been saying we're turning into a total authoritarian system and that we never really left the recession, and those numbers are now coming in proving that. I want to cover the waterfront with him about geopolitical things that are happening, uh, Obama's West Point speech. Really, the state of the republic, we're going to talk about that in two short segments with Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. I'll also give you his website in the moment, so be ready for that. We, of course, syndicate his column at InfoWars.com as well on the Internet. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff to get to today here. Uh, where do you want to begin, Dr. Roberts? So you're also the editor of the Wall Street Journal, I should throw in for good measure. Uh, I mean, I threw out kind of a cornucopia of issues. What do you want to tackle first, or do you want to cover something else? Uh, it's your show. Alex, so I'll accommodate you and what you think your audience is into. What do you want to dive into first and then I threw out? <laughs> well, uh, I thought that uh, Obama's West Point speech was very revealing, and particularly some of the um, reaction to it. So maybe um, that sort of is in the news and sets, it sets the stage for a lot of the else that you mentioned. Let's get into it. Well... <clears throat> You notice that uh, Obama uh, said that he believed in American exceptionalism with every fiber of his body or something to that extent. Now, what he's saying is that he believes that Americans are ubermensch and that they are superior to other people in other countries and that this superiority means that we have the right to prevail over others and that we will continue to intervene in the affairs of the rest of the world and that the military is the prime way with which we intervene. So we see here a policy of no diplomacy, just coercion, force, the only diplomacy the United States has is you do what we say or we'll bomb you into the Stone Age. Remember that? And he's saying that 
just because we're coming out of Afghanistan, it doesn't mean that we're not going to continue to intervene wherever we think that uh, we want to. So this, in a way, uh, is an indication that there's no backing off on the strategic threat that the Obama regime has brought to Russia and the Ukraine, that there's no backing off on the Obama <clears throat> regime's um, uh, resurrection of the Cold War in place of the Soviet threat. We now have the Russian threat, and we are uh, building uh, up forces in the Baltics and uh, in Eastern Europe and or against a non-existent Russian threat. So just like, in, in my opinion, and I believe yours, that the war on terror was a hoax that served the military security complex, we're now going to have a Cold War hoax as a new way. Oh, that's a great way to uh, coin it. It's a Cold War hoax, and I do totally agree with you. And, yeah. you know, it's one thing to have manifest destiny when you're fighting a bunch of Native Americans. Uh, and, and they're actually fighting back against you. You could say there was a war. I'm not endorsing it. But to start a, 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 a new Lebensraum uh, or living space thing, you know, against Russia and people, it's just madness, uh, especially when the country itself is sinking into the mud. That's right. And look, it's also, it's uh, revoking Reagan's greatest accomplishment. You know, Reagan ended the Cold War. You know, the Reagan Gorbachev agreements ended the Cold War. And by the way, you don't toot your horn, but you were you were a big part of that. I had a role in it. Yes. And the so we, so we now have the United States government repudiating its most popular president in a long, long time and his greatest accomplishment and a great accomplishment for humanity because ending the Cold War greatly reduced the threat of nuclear annihilation of everybody. And so now we're going to start it back up, which means that the whole notion of something going wrong and the button getting pushed and nuclear weapons going off, and as all the scientists have made clear... And it's going to kill reforms in Russia. It, it, it's, going to, it's going to kill the whole world if something goes wrong. You know, the scientists have made it clear that if 1% of the weapons in the American and Russian arsenal were used, there'd be a nuclear winter, billions of people would die of starvation, uh, the agriculture would be wiped out for 10 years. Um, you know, the, the catastrophe, the potential catastrophe of starting up another military competition with another nuclear power, this is reckless beyond anybody's imagination. And it's all being done so they can continue to steal money from the taxpayers, give it to the military security complex to prevent us, uh, to, to protect us against a, a hoax threat. And then the money cycles back to the politicians and campaign donations. So this shows a government that's just corrupt beyond any previous measure of corruption. And that they would put this type of risk on human life. I mean, extinction is possible if these weapons go off. So I think that tells you just how bad the situation is, how low the leadership has sunk, and there's hardly really a word about it. Um, the Washington Post jumped all over Obama for not being aggressive enough, uh, for not uh, sending... Uh, uh, troops into Syria for not um, sending NATO into the Ukraine. We have to protect all these people, blah, blah. It's really just mind-boggling. I, <clears throat> I sometimes think that um, the whole country simply lost its, uh, its head. And well, what it is is a bunch of different, as you said, special interests that that would literally you know kill their grandma for a stick of bubble gum who just are disconnected from reality they're not statesmen they've destroyed our soft power uh you know they have obama says you built a business you didn't build it uh two plus two equals five they teach the kids in school this is a general insanity in the ruling class in my view uh and i don't know where it goes dr roberts well i think it goes to collapse it goes to collapse and that's probably the best hope the country 
has because uh, when it collapses, the elites are all discredited and it gives us a chance to do something else. If, if we're ready and aware and can get partially out of the matrix so that we can think. Wow, it's just incredible with all your experience and all the things you've been a part of hearing you say that. But it's right there in our face. Uh, I want to talk about the technicals on the economy, but also first, uh, Putin being boxed in. We've only got a little bit of time now, but can you start getting into why I saw in your column at uh, paulcraigroberts.org uh, that uh, you were uh, getting into the fact that he's boxed in? Yes, you see, um, Washington has no intention of letting the situation in the Ukraine be reconciled or be resolved. Uh, they want to keep this uh, conflict going because they've got Putin in a box. Uh, if he um, steps in to protect the Russian-speaking uh, elements in Ukraine that are under attack, he will then confirm the uh, uh, demonization. When we come back, let's break down where you think that crisis is going and the economy. What's the real state of the economy? And not just all these phony numbers straight ahead. I'm Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. This is Leanne McAdoo for InfoWarsLife.com. I'm here with Dr. Edward Group, master herbologist and chief formulator behind the InfoWars Life products. Dr. Group, what have you been hearing from women who've started taking super female vitality? You know, we've heard the reviews and feedback from super male vitality from emails to even excited callers on the radio. Now, the answer for women is here. A new formulation specifically designed for the female body, super female vitality delivers 10 key herbs that work synergistically to revitalize the unique biology of women. I'm so glad that you guys made this for women. When he brought me home the bottle of Super Female, I had tons of energy, tons of motivation, a lot of drive. My husband thinks I've been in a better mood. Our relationship, all I can say, is it's a lot better now. I've just started taking Super Female Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. Supplies are limited, so secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or dial 1-888-253-3139. From the water table, to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. In the near future. When you realize how fake it all is, the football, the security basketball. Alert. Security alert. This is Homeland Security. Analysis. InfoWars building independent media operations. We let the worst people get controlled and tell us that we are the ones responsible. Prime Directive discredit Alex Jones. Jones is the wildly popular conspiracy theorist. A popular conspiracy theory talk show called InfoWars. Alex Jones is now in an Austin jail. These people are assaulting us. Targeting of patriots engaged. They are never going to stop. They're never going to deviate from their program until we stop them. Block free iPhone app at InfoWars.com. Block free podcast and video feed. Imperative. Destroy Prison Planet TV. You gotta set your eye on the enemy, not worry about what propaganda they put out intellectually. It's because you can feel it. I don't know what it is. Ralph just won't pay any attention to me. When he comes home from work, all he ever does is play video games and go to sleep. It's like I don't even exist. Oh, Betty, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? If the answer to this question is yes, then listen carefully. Toxic pesticides, GMO foods and additives, BPA plastics, contaminated water supplies. Many of these toxic additives are deliberately engineered to attack and weaken human masculinity. It's part of the eugenics population control movement. Look it up. If men are more interested in 
online gaming than they are in their wives. A serious population crisis is soon to follow. Energize the man in your life with Super Male Vitality from InfoWarsLife.com. It's designed to aid the body in ways that help invigorate your natural systems without artificial testosterone, completely free of GMOs, harmful additives, gluten, and is made right here in the USA. Get your Super Male Vitality right now at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-888-253-3139. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Well, he was number two at the Department of Treasury with uh, Ronald Reagan, worked on the deal to get the Soviets to basically try to reform. And in Russia, it got a lot better in many ways. I've talked to a lot of Russians, seen the numbers. Uh, and now all this Western pressure is making them become authoritarian again, which is great for the special interest here. But Dr. Paul Craig Roberts is our guest, syndicated columnist, uh, political analyst, economist. And I want to get into the economies, why he's really here today. But this Russia thing is so important. So uh, start over because you got cut off by the break. Putin's in a box. Uh, you were saying part one is that if he defends the Russians that are 75% of the East or so, that are being ethnically cleansed, attacked with helicopters, being taken over, massacred, uh, you know, then he's invading Ukraine that's always been part of Russia in that area. Uh, but then if he doesn't do that, uh, how's he boxed in? Well, then he's undermined with the nationalists in Russia. He's shown that uh, he's uh, weak, he's not standing up for Russians, he's intimidated by the Americans, so he'll lose his hard support within Russia. And what Washington will do, they will turn loose on him the hundreds of NGOs within Russia that Washington finances, and, they'll, and they will ally with the uh, uh, nationalists, the Russian nationalists, and they'll start making protests against Putin, and he'll be... Lose, he will lose uh, support within Russia itself. So either way, he's weakened. The first part of the box, he's weakened with the Europeans that he hopes he'll be able to move away in part from, from, from the Americans because of their energy dependence on Russia and their trade with Russia. Um, but if, if he doesn't fall into that part of the trap, the other part is he becomes... Uh, um, a guy who failed to stand up for Russia, who gave in to the Americans, who was scared, and the protests within Russia will undermine him. So he's really in a difficult situation. Exactly. He gets more powerful if he makes the wrong decision and engages and threatens World War III with the ultranationalists who are ready for a war. Uh, but, I mean, can't they be sophisticated enough? The Russians aren't stupid to understand the trap they're being put into. Isn't there some third way for them to not not, not give in to the George Soros operation that he bragged last week he's behind? I, I think the NGOs are too numerous and too well entrenched. You know, uh, Russia didn't do anything about them for 20 years. And uh, they're all through Russia. And a lot of the young professionals are really uh, won over by American propaganda. So I think he's in a difficult position. Uh, I think what he should have done early was simply to uh, step in, take back the Russian territories that were always part of Russia, and then deal with the remainder based on what happens. Uh, <clears throat> but now he's fallen into this trap that the Americans sprung on him. Whatever he does, he's, he's going to lose one way or the other. <clears throat> but, Doc, because when you say Americans, I'm an American, you're an American. I mean, I understand it is America technically doing this, but and NATO. and But, I mean, it's special corporate interest. Uh, isn't there a way to differentiate so the public understands that it it's criminal groups doing this? Well, I always say Washington. Yeah. Because, because Washington is a creature of the um, private interest groups, you know, Wall Street, the military security complex, you know agribusness, energy, mining, timber. Uh, so I always say Washington. If I say American, it's just a mistake, really. I shouldn't. No, no, I'm not even criticizing you for that because it makes it's true. I feel bad being drug along by the hair with this, as you do, and seeing America that hadn't been perfect. But, you know, I mean, back in the 50s and stuff, I mean, we were better than most other countries. when it, We were exceptional in many ways, from my view. Now we're exceptionally evil. I'm afraid so. I'm afraid that's the case. And of course, though, uh, we may be faced with 
substantial economic problems here, which may uh, <clears throat> deter Washington from being able to carry out its Russian, its anti-Russian strategy, because uh, the first quarter came in uh, with the revisions, negative, as we all knew it was. They tried to hide it with the initial uh, release. And most likely, the second quarter will be. Now, they're claiming, oh, if second quarter is going to be fine, the first quarter was just due to the weather. But it's hard to see any growth in real consumer income, uh, any growth in uh, uh, retail sales, real retail sales, any growth in consumer credit except for uh, student loans. And uh, so you don't see any kind of uh, activity boosting the economy. So I don't think there's any basis for the economy to do anything but sink. And if it sinks in the second quarter, then it has the specter of recession because two negative quarters means recession. And I don't think they'll be able to spin it. And I don't know what policy they can use to combat it if they go back to more QE, to more quantitative easing, more money printing, this could put pressure on the dollar, especially with the announcement by uh, China and Russia that they're going to be leaving the dollar system. Uh, not all at once, but they're going to be leaving it and settle their trade with other countries in their own currencies. So more QE could cause holders of dollars to say, oh no, here they are again printing more money <clears throat> um, the goods and services aren't increasing. That means the dollars we're holding are going down. Let's get out of them. So the United States could face it, could face a currency crisis on top of the sinking economy. Now that would simply uh, devastate its power and its ability to be an international bully, and therefore uh, Putin could escape the trap. And, and now they're trying to shift from doing gas deals in Europe to that big gas deal with the Chinese. I know that's got the neocons upset. And again, we got Obama and the neocons. For those that don't know, Trotsky got run out by Stalin. He ran down to Mexico. But when he got killed, all his followers ran up here and set up the neocon, neoconservative movement. These are literally the children of the Trotsky communist. Uh, and they've always been anti-Russian after they got kicked out. And I think and you're a bigger expert on this than I am, doctor, but isn't that part of the, Russia's not doing anything to anybody, they're not expanding, uh, the, you know, they're just trying to hold on, and uh, the establishment's trying to start a war with them. I mean, I mean, it's, it, is it just because the Trotskyite neocons hate Russians? Well, they do hate Russians, just like uh, the Poles, like Brzezinski hates them. Uh, there's no doubt, you're right, that the neocons today are the children of people who were, at one point in their life, Trotskyists. And uh, so you do have this sort of, but it's more than that. It's also the doctrines. It's the Brzezinski doctrine, the Wolfowitz doctrine. And those doctrines are that the United States, in order to, make, to remain the sole superpower, has to prevent the rise of Russia. Pax Americana. Well, uh, it, it's empire Americana. And so they must prevent the rise of Russia. And so whatever you can do to screw up Russia, do it. Whatever. But, but it's a global society that screws up Europe and then screws us up. Also, the neocons can play God. And then you got Brzezinski running Obama. It's, it's two peas in a pod. How does your gut tell you it ends on that front and the economy? Because, look, I'm in the supposed richest city in the country now, Boomtown. And, and most people I know are really having the most trouble of their lives. So I know we're in a really a depression in many areas. And, and then they're saying, oh, we're a you know, recession despite all the QE unlimited. Yeah, I think the, the people in Washington have overreached. Uh, China and Russia together is an impossible combination to prevail over. So the notion that Obama expressed uh, last Wednesday, I think it was, at West Point, that we are always going to prevail, we are the exceptional people, and that the military is our way of prevailing, this is unrealistic. It's delusional. Dr. Roberts, thank you for spending some of your uh, Sunday with us. We'll talk to you soon. We'll be back, folks. I'm Alex Jones. Check out his site, paulcraigroberts.org.
a chemical spill contaminating the water supply in nine West Virginia counties. This year alone, over 300,000 people in West Virginia had their drinking water contaminated. What are the health effects of having these drugs in our drinking water? It's forced medical treatment without the consent of residents. My friends, water filtration is one of the most basic actions you can take to protect you and your family from the harmful toxins and heavy metals in your tap water. On average, the county says it sprays with the glyphosate at least once a week. Few filters cut out the glyphosate that is found in water supplies worldwide. Remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, hydrofluorosilicic acid, sodium hexafluorosilicate. Fluoride, it is in tea, it's in coffee, it's in water, it's in bread, it's in toothpaste. It is our responsibility to protect our families. The establishment's not going to do it. It's time to take action. It's time to filter our water. Visit InfoWars Store.